So Yabby's going to be the point of the HE. Smoke towards main. Takes the aggro. 910 takes the bait. But Blitz towards secret. Should be able to get a couple of kills here. Nice headshot's going to fall back with the man advantage. Crouching 910, striking Blitz. Puts them into a good position to open up the pistol at least. Putting pressure back on Astralis. And Senzu has figured out the play. Spotted the first man and done more than just tagged him, Henry. Another one up numbers for the Mongols. Yeah, looking quite comfortable, isn't it? Every interaction, every duel is falling in favor of the CT side. And as poor old bro, he will be out of bullets, out of time, out of space. And it's a very convincing pistol there. Maybe a little bit too complicated for the Astralis side. They had all that utility. They tried to uh, avert the setup. You can afford to take those risks, and usually they'll pay off and be worth their weight in gold. Let's see, though, if Astralis will be bold enough to pick this one up and get on the board. They're going to move round through main. Still the first strike, and it's looking good so far. Set to again, back in position. He pulls off the flick to deal some more damage, and we're down to a 2v2. 24 seconds on the clock now. It's still a very difficult round here for Astralis, but that makes things a little bit easier for them. Blitz, left in a two versus one. He's doing so much damage. We'll find Stair eventually. And with 13 seconds left, they need to try and get the bomb planted. It's down in a very tricky spot here. He has got the bomb on his back. We'll have to go for the plant, the incendiary. Oh, it's actually perfectly placed here. Does he go down? 17 HP, well played from Blitz. That's a cerebral finish to the round there. Didn't even have to challenge him too much. A nice little off angle. Probably gets at least one from this one. Doesn't quite control the spray. Nice idea. Doesn't work out for him in Blitz. The Immortal surely gets taken down eventually. This is looking good for the first Astralis round, but it's still a three versus three. Bomb planted in the Astralis position. Senzu swings open the door. Stan will find Techno 4K. And now... Just going to be patrolling towards those secret steps. The retake with the AWP down the vents, not ideal to say the very least. Incendiary will buy him a little bit of time, block off the angle, but that's not time for Senzu to stay alive, and you've got to get out and save the weapon. Yeah, well done to Astralis. Their first round on the board here is going to be 3 1. Uh, the rounds have been relatively close. Uh, we had that 1v1 was down before, so the money's actually pretty low, lower than you might expect. Uh, we've got $0 actually on three members. Save the AWP though, and there is a potential drop available from 910 himself. So they, they probably do invest into this one and try and answer back quickly. And uh, the war of attrition will begin now. Flash in. I think it is just one of those simple four man up attacks. In we go. Oh, Sensu, even while it's blind though, he's still putting the pressure back onto them. It's 910 in the elevated angle that continues to find success with device now going down. And they know the situation. Stare on the back of the site. Info goes both ways, Henry. Jump spots for the contact, but they're coming double from heaven. Blitz is in trouble. Oh, Stown can't quite control, control the spray. Blitz certainly can. A nice idea there from Astralis, dropping the outside wall of smokes, forcing some rotations down towards lower, potentially keeping the... What's up, Gaben? Make us happy. Shit. Well, hello, buddy. Where did you get this fiery serpent? Do you mean this beautiful, expensive skin? I have conquered it on Force Drop. There are lots of cases with a good winning rate. Bring your friends in and get a cash reward for it. There, you can also compete with real people in battle and take their skins from them. Do you get it? Yeah. Force Drop. Powerful drop CSGO. Seems like he's caught with. HE goes behind him. Oh, I like that. Entry. Lovely work from Yabby. It's a difficult duel. He comes out on top. And now down to Blitz. Got the double kill in the previous round. And that's going to give his position up. I like the idea. The timing was spot on, but couldn't quite find the pre-aim. And now Yabby going to town. But it's going to be Senzu giving his position up towards heaven. The reactions can come through. It's currently a three versus two in favor of Astralis. A stare. Oh, he needs to be very careful. They're going up the ladder. Could get things over to the two on two and even kill. We've got 30 seconds remaining. The bomb is down. Senzu, trying to get some information here. Drops down to the air conditioning unit. 27 seconds left on the clock. Where is that bomb? Isn't he spawned still? They, they've really got to get their skates on here. Yeah, going back towards lobby side now. Ooh, stare with the info. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Knows where Senzu is. Damn. Bro gets the frag off the back of it. And suddenly it's just down to Techno. He's on the lower side, miles away from the action. Upper will be claimed and Astralis... For my money, these guys are the favorites. I think they're going to go to the grand final. I think this might be their, their first trophy, Jackie. What do you think about that? I think there's definitely potential for it. Because like, on the other side of the bracket, really we've got 
Furia and the fledgling yeah. NIP. Sure, they look great yesterday, but they're still like a new team, a new roster, right? Astralis now, this has been what, like towards the trophy room here. It's down to Yabby. Oh my goodness, it's getting real dicey for him. Nice setup. That was him a kill, but on the other side of the map, it's there from the silo, takes down Blitz. So it recovered a rifle at the very least, and 910 rotates over. He's going to spot one crossing towards the garage, takes him down as well. That's down. Caught up to his usual antics, trying to push for that smoke. Spotted and removed. Hoping just to find one more kill, knowing he's very fragile right now. The bomb's down in such an awkward position as well. Xenio should be able to take this one. He's trying to take the aggro and does a lot more than that. Great shot to the AK-47. It's going to be the Mongols 5-4 to four here. Holding on to the lead. Couple of players down towards Secret though, and wow, that's a great shot. Stown giving them hell towards outside in the last couple of rounds here. Stair will find Blitz from the main entrance as well. 9-10 aware, and that's such a great shot. Can he get the double? You better believe he can. Fantastic round here. That's going to force out the eco almost certainly now for Astralis. Very convincing stuff here for the Mongols. Yeah, and that's far cleaner. Only two rebuys needed. They come out swinging. They're playing a little bit more aggressive. Blowing open the door initially, but 9-10. Uh, He's had enough of this nonsense. He will find at least damage. His M. Zinio on the other side. Now they've got the double orb set up. Stair is dropped as well. And Yabby, through the smoke, they are getting absolutely pummeled out there. And that's the thing, they got the information early. For See the ya! First shot, thinking there's only one orb, Henry, but there's two in play. The Hydra strikes again as Mazzinio shuts down Bro. And this is what you've got for the last round of their T side. Just a vice and down. Or even a, a viable prospect for you. That was your one window, potentially, if you wanted to go for the cross as well towards Secret. The flash over. Oh, no. Techno. He's caught whiff of down. Knows about the backstab. Can find that one. And time is the additional man on the server. Of Stown going down, device will follow. <laughs> Eight to four, Henry, the Mongols on top. Oh, they're kind of smothering them right now. Like, in the really important gun rounds, they've come out on top. They're, they're reading them quite well. Uh, we didn't see many post-plant situations there, uh, especially in the rounds that the Mongols were winning, as it's going to be Yabby to defend, bro baiting him in, and we've got device here as well. Great grenade to cause initial damage. Who will strike first? Oh, Yabby goes down. Blitz with damage as well as the Glocks are singing, and Mongols are flying their way into the site. Another pistol round could be claimed. You've got a flank. Potential from Stown, but the numbers are against them, and Senzu... He's caught whiff of it, Henry. This is a nosedive. Stair is the only one that puts the foot down, but it might be too little too late. It might be. So, round secured. Mongols go up nine to four here. Stown should survive, I suppose, but uh, whether they're forced by in the second is yet to be seen. Like, he might want to bring in Rugger again for this. Oh, this is this could be a, a difficult one to recover now. Hopefully, he's pick up some AK-47s. Get the guns and get out. Ooh, okay. Hang on a minute. They're fishing for this one, and they might have reeled their way back in to find quite a lot from it. Sent a chance. He's up towards control room, mate. He's got his finger on a pulse at a round. They jump on the bomb to try bait the peak. Little bit of headshot action. Takes okay. down two. Okay, recovered. Oh, we haven't had one of those crazy rounds yet. Like a massive clutch or uh, a stolen victory. Yeah. That was close. There was a chance there, but unless they win the round, it doesn't have massive knock-on effects here. They're still the ones uh, financially wounded. They saved the AK-47. That is quite significant. It allows Stair to potentially drop... Oh, I guess he can't even say careful. I can't really drop the AWP. They have to go with the rifles here. But now it has to be the perfect game. I absolutely love it. What a moment. I said we haven't had one of those crazy moments before, right? I just, I just said it before that round. That was it. And it finally delivers. So speaking of device, holding up a dear life here. He's got the AWP, and they're finding a couple of kills now. It's going to have to be eight rounds in a row to keep them alive here on Nuke. Bro has done very well here. Convincing rounds. Should be no problem to convert this one. At this stage, you're just looking to get back on your feet. Try and make these rounds uncomfortable. Get to double digits, something like that. See if you can get warmed up into this series, because right now, it's the Mongols running away with the first map. Their opponent's pick. You'd rather try and close things out with a nice full buy, but... These guys are looking red hot right now, looking for the early close, but Yabby slamming the door in their face, starting to come to life now, our Astralis. Yeah, yeah, and that force by said nothing for them. Closing the gap, slowly but surely. There's an eco coming up next. Blitz, I guess you can save. It's a minute and 20 you're going to have to hold on to. Blitz still in the round. 20 seconds remaining, just trying to be a bit of a nuisance here. Saving the orb, that wouldn't be too bad, but it's not going to happen. Stan will find him, and we go 12 to 6. So, Rugger just knows he needs to keep the player's head in the game at this point. Like I said, getting this yeah. 8 9 rounds, that would still be fine. 
Incendiary, he can hear them coming as well, so he doesn't want to be part of this. He, he knows if he goes down and gives up a right when the bomb gets planted, there's a chance he actually loses this round. I guess it's still, it's a slight chance, but Yabby's here at the scene of the crime as we get a nice mow down once again. Some great sequences now from Astralis. And it's a clean sweep. Picking themselves up, dusting themselves down. Astralis slowly but surely coming to life here in the semi-final. Stare, big smile on his face. They faced a lot of lows in this one. Sure. They're bringing themselves back up. And like you say, mate, stranger things have happened. You could definitely bring this back in. Since devices had the AWP on the CT side as well, it's activated them a lot more. Hello. What's happened here? What is it? over, Henry. The GG. They've FF. Well, the P250 arranged. They bait out the utility, but it might not be enough. Stunning shot from Bro and indeed Yabby. At this point, you just hope to get a bomb planted, but it's such a clean round. We said Astralis needed a pistol, Jackie. That's one way to pick it up. All five kills going in their favor. It was looking quite promising at one point there for Mongols. Baiting out the HE, the incendiary. Yabby boosted up. Oh, no, he's trying to find the lineup. Okay, they've actually done very well to secure this one because it looked like he was caught with his pants down there. Yeah, that was a landslide. That's a round that could have been over quite quickly. But Techno, hot feet. He keeps the push going. Backed up by Mazzinio. So we suddenly get flip-flopped in a two-on-two. -two. Bombs down. I can't believe oh, they got Henry. two kills there, sure. It looked like it was going to be an absolute disaster. Yabby was just trying to find the perfect pixel to yeah. be as far out as possible. And now we've got a two-on-two. -two. Huge clutch here. AK is available. Smoke for the bomb, and it's down to Stown and Stare. Make it just Stown. He's towards a B apartment. Fantastic shot, making it a couple as Mzino takes him to town. The only problem is this butter has guns. Trying to put it to good use down to <laughs> Henry. And there you go, the butter strikes back. Sensu wiped off the map. Ooh, 910 with a clap back instantly, though. AK from range, deals damage on the device. Ow. A blitz. What a round. Ooh, strikes onto Stown. Okay, here we go. 3v2 then. Mongols, they want to take the second and lop the head off. Good shot from Stair. Needed that. Does open up things towards the A side there. Mzino doesn't miss many shots. He knows Stair's in towards that connector. Juggling his utility. We've got a player in towards CT spawn as well. Should be the frag from Mzino, but you'd assume the trade comes in. His little bro making his way up towards the CT steps. Undetected for now. They notice the B anchor. Mzino starts to adjust, spots him now, and gets the hell out of there. They've locked off the kitchen. All the meanwhile, and Techno's just going to find him. And that's a really nice round. You can see that's the MAC-10 at range. If it hits the head, it's a very powerful weapon. Does he grab the M4? Not quite, but it's pretty much full eco guarantee for the CT's next rounds. So he might even be better off with the M4. Uh, sorry, the MAC-10. Force the issue with that smoke down towards connector and window. Get some short control. And now, Astralis, speaking of which, in full control now, as we will see them have a five versus three. One minute 25 remaining. Bear in mind, Mongols are extra sharp today, but nullifying the efforts of Mzinho, he takes a full damage grenade towards the palace, and that should be enough to win this round. Whether it's a clean one is yet to be seen. Fantastic work for 9-10, maybe not so much on the Molotov, but a great shot in towards Spawn. Can he get more done here? He's looking for a follow-up, the device waiting, goes down, Deagle flick out. Damn. Not clean enough on the response. Down with two, and it's only Techno that remains. Bomb on his back, running into the death sentence here. I don't know. Like we said, it's the helmet situation. It's all about the angles, mate. Yeah, he's dead now. Ooh. Oh. That was a chance. Yeah, slim. Slim. Expecting the run out. And with time ticking away, they've got to force the issue soon. 17 seconds. Sensu on backup, but down aware. Flicks off and still gets the readjustment shot. They're out on the site. The stare from triple continues, and it's easy picking. See, it's all gone wrong for the Mongols, and 9-10's best bet is to sprint away and fight for survival. Yeah, he's got the AWP, though, so it doesn't look like they'll go for the full commitment on the hunt. Would have been great to take that out of his hands if possible. Trying to recover a deagle so he can drop that to his teammates going forward. Doesn't quite pick it up, though. Device has had enough. Blows it open. The flashbang catches him perfectly. Yabby goes down towards short. Device with the vision, though. The smoke not completely averting his vision. And Bro dominates the B-bomb side once again. He's been fantastic today. And it should be another round for Astralis. Should be in the operative word here. It's round number nine. A four versus two. Blitz and Senzu to try and pick up the pieces. Some awkward percentages on the fight, but they still get through them. The choreography CS working out. Reposition from device and the flick will be a miss. Blitz hits the head, bypasses the hole as well on the jump. It's now a three on two. Bro is very low indeed. And that's going to be a nice little backstab from Stair, pushing that A ramp. And pretty much confirming the round, the bomb going down. Lovely shot from Stown as well. 
And they continue with their winning ways here. It's looking very good on the CT side of Mirage. Stair waiting for the run out. Good for two on the spray down. The hammer causing problems. It's still a three versus four, but 9-10. He's got to do so much more. Backed up by Sensu. Time becoming a problem. Eight seconds oh. left. The missed flick. Oh, no. It's just the vice towards CT with three seconds on the clock. He's got a bail and he's won the round. <laughs> That's when your teammates are just going, time, 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 time. And he just, just got say, a knife out. <laughs> yeah, well done from the vice. Wants to make things a little bit frustrated and kick things off. Forces the fight and he gets a nice double kill. Device will back him up as well. And looks like that should be enough. But 9-10, he's fighting back. He's putting all the pressure on. He's doing everything right now. But how much more can this man physically do? Mazzinio looking for the cross. Oh, there's no way. He's scared about the CTP. Can he be right to? All on 9-10 then. So much time on the clock, but no chance to stay alive. Stown dispatches him. And that is clean. Astralis, like mate, just running away with it. That is much more like it. All they needed was a pistol victory, Jackie. Yeah. And then they're right back on their feet. Lying in wait towards the underpass. Beheads bro and finds a man advantage. Steph. Ooh, tried to phase his way through the smoke, but 9-10 will battle back. Stown on the P250, unable to get much done here either. So the chance for a second pistol slipping through the fingertips and Sensu, he'll okay. cut them down. All right, Henry, they trade the pistols. Yeah, another clean sweep. The CT side's dominating today. Rushing in towards the Palace position. Fast-paced round and an instant headshot from Stown. Mzinio, though, we know he's incredibly sharp with his M4. Blitz trying to back him up the best he can, but he's going to be smothered in towards the spawn position. There's now down to Blitz. He's doing everything he can. A boatload of damage. But it's still is a three versus two. Stown from top of middle. Confirms the round ascension. This Techno 4K goes off. Can't do it. First gun round goes in favor of Astralis, and they will post double digits now to the same level on Mirage as what they presented on Nuke. That's another guaranteed kill for Bro. Lovely shot, looking for that double. Can't quite find it, but traded out by Stown. Down to Blitz once again. Can't find anything here. Are we done on Mirage? It feels like it. Swarming the A-bomb site. Taking down everyone in their path. Going into CT, you take the pistol. Worst case scenario now, the bite back from Astralis playing with pace. If they lose the weapons here, it's only going to get worse. All right, Techno. Smooth moves on the Famous. Could get the AK for the getaway. At least that. Small victory, Henry. Minuscule, perhaps. I mean, yeah, the smallest of victories. They all count. Bro on the quick run out. Playing with pace, but the MP9 of Techno. Bop into the top at the back of the bomb site. Hello, Ow. there's two. All right, bit of money made. Potential for a third as well. It's Gabby. Up close, though. It's never this simple, is it? Ooh. We'll see Yabby with a chance to get a triple kill there. They line up for him, but uh, couldn't find the killing blow on 9-10. And it will be the Mongols keeping their head above water for now. Bomb down in a precarious spot. Just there, uh, I say just. Three weapons to be brought in the next for the Mongols. Only one round required for Astralis, so if you can clean house, that's the dream. Not going to happen, so they can get the AK back from the top of the van. So... Good map control. Better shot, though, from 9-10. Finds the vice. Bro will answer back, continuing this strong T-side form. Is this where it all comes crashing down in the second map? Blitz doesn't seem to think so, but Stair keeps the advantage. Stown, that should be enough, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be Astralis taking this second map. Nothing Techno can really do here. Three versus one. has got to go through the murder hole. Aptly named, as it will be, a 13-6 domination here from Astralis on their opponent's pick. We said they were getting warmed up towards the end of Nuke, and that certainly rings true. Great team performance. Down, an absolute beast once again. And bro, he looked fantastic there. What a solid anchor. Yeah. Astralis taking on the Mongols one final time. Ancient. This is the battleground that will decide our oh first finalist. A 9-10. With a P250, cracks open the head of Bro, device is down, and Mongols are out to fight for the final. That is lovely work. Ooh. Two bullets, two kills, both to the head as 9-10. Continuing to look extra sharp here. Third map in first pistol was looking very good. Flashing through, flashing each other, unfortunately. A nice idea. Didn't quite work out. The bomb will be planted in towards A momentarily. The round is over. So thanks the question now, can Stair stay alive and certainly not. 9-10, that was kind of sick. You fire two bullets at the P250 and you pretty much win the round. They were both corkers, mate. Ah, yeah. That's actually incredible, the fact that he's been able to come out swinging like that. And all right. Stair takes contact on the A-Main walk-up. Battled back by Mazzinio, carrying on from his strong Damn. form previously, Henry. The Galil gets gory. And the round 
that look good to open up for Astralis. It exchanges hands. You've got a site control and the late lurk from Techno. A bit of a backstab perhaps onto Bro. Time is of the essence. They even have a kit. I think they're trying to contain the CTs now, but it could cost them everything. And uh, they've had enough. It's going to be 3-0 Mongols. Bouncing back from their disappointing performance on Mirage here. Looking for back-to-back -back grand finals in their camp. Be a hell of a feat for them, mate. Yeah, took down Bleed Esports in a best of five. Was it a couple of weeks ago, last week? They did, yeah. I think about a week ago at this point, live from Ulaanbaatar in Mongolia. Yeah. Catch the flight straight here. Nearly go undefeated, losing only to one team in the groups of this very event. That was Astralis. Indeed. And now, they take the pistol on the following two rounds on the third map. Drops another smoke down towards Elbow. They have got mid control and the B lanes. 9-10 trying to snatch it back. That smoke towards Cave dissipating now. Yabi still willing to fight, and rightly so. Is he done? Is he happy with two kills? A 5-on-3 advantage, another flash delivered here. 9-10 will finally take him down, and they have another opportunity to get themselves back into the round here. Defensive smoke from the CTs. That spam, like I said, Stown loves going for these little maneuvers. Get some chip damage in. Stare. He's in towards the cubby. Mzinho, though, oh, he doesn't miss many shots. You give him an inch, he'll take a mile. Do they even check it? Apparently not. Step, times it to perfection. Peaks for Intel. Gets a lot more than he bargained for. Doesn't anticipate two players in towards the cave, though, trying to sneak a play in towards B, get the bomb down potentially, but there it is. Stown just peppering in the bullets. If anyone's up close, it would be uncomfortable. No real commit with the bomb, though. You've already lost Techno, that's the real problem. Bro gets the opening frag, and Yabby can assist with Stown now. Yeah, that's Bro from the B bomb site. See Stown, aggressive of course, he has looked fantastic throughout the series. He was the only beacon of hope on Nuke for Astralis. Continues to dominate on Mirage and now keeping the team and their head above water. There's 9-10, he knows he has to make a, make a play here. Unfortunately, Stan will catch him once again. While blind, the wall bank comes through and Bro has full control of the ramp. They know the orb's gone down so he can take some jewels. Needs to make sure he's uh, still disciplined, playing off his teammate here. Just taking the aggro for Yavi. Tucks himself in towards the corner there as Bro shuts down the round. That should be enough to force out the eco. Raga likes what he sees here. That's a very convincing round. You can see Stown really in the flow state right now. He's getting his timing towards his smoke well. Uh, he's calling for those flashbangs from middle as well to allow him to keep pushing down towards the B lanes, and it's stifling. Seems steadfast on holding this double B, double door B situation. He's got the Blitz frag coming in, that's down going down, back to a three on three, 30 seconds, but there it is, Stair gets that intel, and now down to device. Went off the orb and onto the AK, but the Fire Serpent delivers again. Barrage of bullets onto 9-10, 20 seconds on the clock, you can pick the bomb up, but Blitz really doesn't have many options on this, and no HP to make it easier for himself. Device, watching for the lurk out, peak from CT takes the info, and that's the finish. Four to four, tied back up, limited casualties, and a round where they can recover things. Yabby, constricting around the back. He's got through middle. And you've got Device inside of Donut. Power play positions here. All right, Device. Desert Eagle, weapon of choice. Yabby will find one outside A main, but Device does get dropped. All the meanwhile, bomb planted right in the open here. Very difficult retake for Bro and Yabby. Do they fancy it? I, I doubt it. You can see them peeling away from the situation already. So uh, a fumbled smoke at the start, an awkward interaction to kick things off, but they recover. Thriving in the chaos here. Yabby will have the AK-47, Bro with the M4. So they take the tactical timeout. It leads them to their first round loss in after five in a row. Two weapons saved, though, both of them being AK, so it won't hemorrhage the economy too much on the side of Astralis. Everyone's still positioned at around 10 to 8K. And there's two weapons dropped, of course. You can... And now it's going to be Bro. Full send down towards the B ramp, a quick boost. This time, he was the first kill, but Stown fighting back. Oh my goodness, three players in front of him. The significant damage. They've got a three on two lead. Astaire will spray down, find 10 to 4K. The headshot found by Yabby as well. The AWPA goes down here. Looks like Astralis will be snatching the lead back. Dominating that B bomb site. It's got a lot of action, hasn't it? Oh, yeah. Go for it again. <laughs> Just straight up beat rush. Boys, you're going to take so much damage. There's about 100. It's down. You keep testing him. He rises to the occasion. And it's going to be a boatload of frags for the CT. Significant damage to Techno 4K and Senzu as well. They will get the plan here, but it's a three versus two. Final round of this half. 
Yabby doesn't need to jump through by himself, but he's still going to give it a good go. Tenzu more than happy to oblige here. Stair will get the trade and add on the Techno 4K. Like we said, he's low HP, but does find the one versus one against Device. He only needs to be a Techno 3K in this round, Henry. Like that. Break the smoke straight open. Device on oh, the oh. free fire. Damn. I thought maybe it would be a miss, but it's a device <laughs> clutch to shut it down, and they take the edge. Oh, that was so dicey for Devicey. There's one missed. Yeah, that's gone. That's off the map. Gap on the short side. That's clear vision for the rotate. Ooh, Molotov's going to at least buy you a few seconds. They barrel through. Yabby swinging. Uppercut from Device. They follow it up with some <laughs> quick kills, and it's over. <laughs> Thank you for pointing out the smoke. But yeah, that's kind of sick. You can throw those... Long and short smokes, like from T spawn, essentially. Going to try and use this gap they've created to open things up. A load of damage from Senzu leads to two frags of the Mongols here. Five versus two now. Can Stair do anything about it? He finds one, but that's about it. Device left in the unenviable position of a four on one up against him. At this point, is trying to inflict damage to the economy. Gets dinked in the process, down to 10 points of health, and Minzinho will find the round in the end. So... Well, so that was a nice little A fake, right? So he's dropped all the utility in towards Donut spawn, uh, try and force the rotations and walk in towards B. So even 9-10 getting that kill, the problem is he didn't spot anyone else, so it's kind of uh, rumbled at that stage. Uh, but a nice idea. A side call once again. 9-10, different so, angle this time. I guess it'll be the same variation of it, the same smoke's going down, but actually having players behind this now. 9-10, ooh, tag on the first, goes back in for more. Headshot follow up. He postures off, plays it safe, got back up from the boys. Mazzinio murdering them, but Stown stands strong. Another follow-up, a double kill, Oof. two versus three. Lucky to be alive, bro, Shadow gives him away. It's all Stown. He's in a 1v2, low HP on one of the players, but he's got the perfect position, blitz with the backstab. Nice work. Techno 4K, fantastic flash from 910. Gives him all the open runway he could possibly need to find that opening kill. And now, looking to answer back. Bro and Stown certainly do. 9-10, an awkward spot, but continues to find these shots. He's looking so good today. And we've actually got back to a three versus two. Mongols could find the equalizing round here. That kill could be everything. Mzinho, no fear. Willing to swing back into the fight. He's going back again. No way. Oh, Mzinho. He just keeps peeking into it, Henry. If that one works out, shuts down Bro. He's a sicko. Oh, he's out of control. And it's any device left controlling this round is not going to be an easy task, especially with Sensu looking to confirm the round. And he will. If the confidence was gone, it might just be coming back. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Even after losing the first frag. Is it a partial investment? Yeah, but we've got Stan with the hero rifle. And Blitz will have to be a bit of a hero himself. He's being swarmed towards middle, and Zinni will back him up. Stan does find one kill with takes heavy damage on Root. Is this going to be enough? Techno 4K offers himself up, trying to back up this mid area. It's getting a little bit dicey out there now. They know there's another player behind the smoke, spotted towards elbow. Oh, Yabby, how's he pulled this one off? 910 seems to be aware, but can't react in time. Yabby threads the needle and opens up the A bomb site. The backstab went wrong on Nuke, but this time he makes up for the previous mistake. Takes down the Orpa. Bomb plant. Timing oh, of no. Tight. He's, he's going to boost himself up. up. No, he's going to try and jump up himself. Oh, Henry. He's going to go for the self boost at the worst possible time. It's all gone wrong. It's just Yabby. 1v2, oh. Tech 9, close angle towards CT. They tap it, trying to bait the face. Second guessing on the peak. They're just going to give it. Full stick. That's the round. I mean, they probably won't get a winner if he gets up there regardless. But still, like, it's a disappointing way to go down in the two on two. You think you've got legs. Wow. That might be enough to win the round. They're trying to. Scramble out of that. Zinio. <laughs> Excellent reactions. Pinpoint accuracy on the M4A1S. They've got themselves a five on two, Jackie. Oh, they are really locked in right now. This is a huge round to pick up as well. Money is running thin on the Estrella side. Stown trying oh. to work with his teammate Device, his captain, who can't get anything done. One round away from grand final points here. I think so. Because bear in mind, they've used their tactical timeouts now. You, yeah. you don't have the coach chiming in. You've just got to go for the half by and hope for the best. Yabby, the player with the AK-47. At least a missed shot from Senzu. They get a bit of traction in towards the B side. They're going to take him down here. No problem. Oh, signs of life now. As Astralis swarming towards the B bomb side. Bro, gets a C4 planted just about. The spam doesn't land. They've actually got a four versus three to save the day. Maybe save the tournament for themselves here. They've got a save, I think. Is that it? They're calling it off. 9-10's going back. I think they're throwing in the towel. 
That's wild. They're letting this one go. Off the back. It's the a missed shot. And the AK goes down first. They still come out on top. But they breach. As soon as that first orb shot is missed, you know that's your opportunity. Yeah. We've got to just hunt him down and apply so much pressure. Once they got him, though, it was uh, clear the round was done. And Astralis down, but not out. We go 11 to 10. That was their partial buy as well. Bro will be dropped, but Techno, more importantly, goes down as well. That money's very strong. Won't have a massive knock on effect, but uh, yeah, like I said, sigh of relief. And no life goes down to Bro. Oh, Ooh, Techno through the wall, but heads, Bro. And the Molotovs <laughs> are thrown out, but it's Yabby that's shooting straight hot fire. Burns his way through Mazzinio. The response now is two CTs, and it's all going wrong. There's not many in-game leaders brave enough to call that back-to-back. -back. Device, though, oh, does that cost them the round? The bombs are planted. They're going to hightail it in towards the A-side. It was looking so good, oh. and all of a sudden, they start to fall apart. Unraveling at the seams leaves Yabby in a two versus one. Safe plan. They've got the incendiary for Blitz. He's in towards that donor position. Nice plan from Yabby. Has time to reposition here, but they're coming from multiple angles. Two positions to play with Yabby. It's a hell of a one oh. two if he can pick it up and he finds the first, threads the needle, finds the angle but loses the fight. Match point, the Mongols. God damn, what a round that is. Absolutely electric. Oh, Henry, is it happening again? <laughs> they keep it going. Okay, now, now I'm having an exciting game. This is what we were hoping for today. First two maps, yeah, they were, they were fine. But this, this is what it's all about. This, this is the knocker we wanted, mate. Edge of your sea counter strike. Hold on to the seat of your pants. <laughs> Put the seat belt on. Buckle up. This one's going to be a bumpy ride. Astralis, though, refused to give in. These fast paced rounds into all that B bomb side time and time again. Stan trying to punish the economy, which is actually relatively low. They've done very well to hold on to the AWP and the AK 47. Is there anything left to be said? The T's are on the hunt. They're coming in from A main. If they find 9 10, that'll be a very significant kill, but. They will yield. They will hold on to their AKs here. Emzinho. Oh, catches two. Senzu, though, could be overlooked, Jackie. Oh, wow. Them. What great protocols they've got. It would have been a problem. They didn't hear the burn, Go though. On. They did not hear the burn. No audio cue. If they don't clear it, Henry, they're going back in. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> Shooting the bodies as well. He knows. <laughs> OT is right around the corner. Well done. 9 10 breaks open the smoke. Pop up. But no frag from it. A slippery slope, five to two. OT getting closer and closer, but Techno. Oh, it wouldn't. Back around finds one. Is there a chance? There's definitely a chance. We'll see what he can make of it. Techno 4K, he needs to find a quick kill towards Donut. He's going to pull this one off. His teammate 9 10, the retake with the AWP, not ideal. All the meanwhile, device is creeping in from CT spawn as well. He doesn't need to commit just yet. That should be enough to win the round. Can 9 10 do anything about this? First kill connects beautifully. Stair goes down, AWP, not the weapon for the job, as we mentioned. I have to drop the smoke on the bomb, so just a matter of time before it is dropped. And it's a complete reset. You can see what it means to Stown. Senzu in a lot of trouble here. Flashbang will catch him, at least take his crosshair off the angle. But it doesn't seem to matter. Double kill to bring them right back in the round. They snatch away the man advantage, and then some. It's down to device. They're all tantalizingly low. He could win this, Jackie. It is possible. The grenade, if it connects, could be enough. It does. But it doesn't find the killing blow. He's going to give this one a good go here. 12-12. He gets the bomb planted. Maybe he's onto something. The spams will come through. Well, apparently not. So he's actually got away with this one. Jackie, I might even favor him here. They're giving him all the edge. With that smoke down. If he can just bring it down to a two versus one. He's got a chance. Oh. But well played from Blitz. Using the AWP. Device. Creeping round. Oh. Wanted to lay low. And then pounce. Oof. Removed from the equation. But stair strikes again. 2v3, pressure still on. Yeah, they have got time to work with, though. The bomb behind the big box. As you mentioned, Yabby's already low. This is down to Stair to do the majority of the heavy lifting. Final round here of the first half of overtime. Who will be posting that 2-1 scoreline into the second? It looks likely to be the Mongols here. Blitz starting to activate his backstab as well. Should be the kill for 9-10. Nice shot. That's a low HP Yabby. Down to Stair, the clutch of a lifetime. 30 seconds, but bear in mind we have got the play from A main. It should sabotage his efforts here. He just has no intel as to where they're positioned. If he goes to the plant, they're going to swarm his spot. He has to bring down at least one kill in his favor. Not going to happen. There it is, Mongols. Go 2-1 on the CT side. 
Techno trying to make his way through the B lanes. It's absolute chaos once again. They love these B ram pushes this time. It hasn't worked out whatsoever. Three kills for the Mongols. They've got a three man advantage here, Jackie. And this Yabi goes absolutely sick. There's a chance, I suppose, but he can't find it. Device, the final play. A chance, I suppose, but he can't do it. Grand final point, two opportunities to put this one away. Found in favor of Astralis here. Blitz removed, in-game leader, but the four-man Wolfpack approach. Bro, he's been rock solid as an anchor. Good for one, maintains the advantage here. Yabby chomping at the bit. The flashbang from Stown is spectacular. And they bring the game back to life here. One more will do with a double overtime. He might be low, but he's still alive. That could be the big picture. He backs off towards the ramp. Oh, pushed it up, 9-10. He's been good like for him. these defensive shots, but Device gets the opener. And it's much more like him. Goes he once a bit seconds. more. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> 4v4. Blind good flash. Stown in cave, at least cleans up on the techno. Oh my goodness. All right. It looks like they've done enough here. Double overtime should be locked in. It's Senzu's on 17 HP, three versus one. Astralis have alleviated the pressure again. Oh, it's tight. It's scary. But they have confirmed a second series of overtime here. That was a great opportunity for the Mongols once more. Could activate off the play here. And indeed he will, waiting for the creep to the smoke. Very convincing rounds. Mongols starting to drop off now. No real damage inflicted. Device. Oof. That's a miss, but it should... Oh my goodness, he wouldn't, would he? Surely not. I I'm not going to get too excited yet, but they end up losing this round. That is going to be an absolute nightmare. It looks fine. I, I think it's okay. Bro calls for the rotate. Monitor it's all good. It's all good. There cleans up. Okay, okay. <sighs> Mazzinio, though, his aim <laughs> could be enough here. They're going to walk straight into him. He does connect, but it's not quite the kill. The grenade might finish things off here, but that does give them some open run when he goes down at the end, Jackie. That's a disaster. <sighs> They've got all the side control off the back of it. The Yabby arrives and causes issues again. The spray is good to at least strike down on the Mazzinio. Oh, man. Bro through the smoke. That's, that's really unlucky for Device. Oh. That wasn't even a miss. He just gets the leg shot. They take that opportunity to swarm him, and it's a four on two. Two players very low. It's going to be Senzo and Techno 4K. Maybe there's something to be said here. Might as well give it a look in. Yabby's been fantastic. That kill probably had to go in his favor, though. He'll connect, but his teammate Stan will drop. And it's going to be another round for the Mongols. They'll tie things up at 1 1 in their first half of double overtime here. Oh, he wants to get on the close angle. M4 ready for the spray. Contact from the side. Device coming in as well. Senzu replies, but it's only one, and Device is still here. Wow. The one time they overlooked that position. Stair gets two and a half kills. Device finds him a solid man advantage. Four on two now. And have to give him the chance, give him the 1v1. It's late flank coming around from the back, but it's Yabby single bullet to put pen to paper. Two rounds on their CT side in the second OT. Device down to 40, but that's the AWP in his hand, so it shouldn't matter as much. Talk about damage though, look towards Red Room. 9-10, struck down to 17. They're grouping up and getting ready to pull the pin on the B play. Nade into cave, trying to slow them down. Techno slays one on the ramp, doubles up as he battles against Bro. 9-10 strikes on Device, and it's a 2v2, hanging in the balance now. Is it enough? CTs, trying to deny the plan if possible. Oh, and there's the spam that comes in from Enzinho. Denies the plan, but Stair looking to fight back. He has got... Six points of health, and Zinio will punish him for it. What a spam. What a time for that to work out. Stair will challenge. Oh, God, it was the shadow spotted as well. Awkward Molotov now will have to stand and fight. Flashed off. 9-10's going down here for sure. He has got back up from Senzu, but it drops quickly. And now... Looks like a locked-in round for Astralis, unless Blitz and Emzinio can find some sort of traction here, especially on the backstab. Blitz needs to find at least one kill. Can't deny the plan. Find Stair, no problem. Can he maintain his life? Emzinio brings it back to a two-on-two. -two. Here we go. They're making it happen as Blitz brutalizes them on the site, and it's down to Device, the brains of the operation, with the weapon that made him famous holding towards the bottom of ramp. They jump on the bomb, trying to bait him out. Damn. He's beheaded by Blitz. The 18th Huge. is there squandered 
by Astralis. They need to find triple overtime now. Quickly in towards a B side. It works out for Stair. Finds Senzu once again. Techno 4K lying in wait. Sat in the smoke. Flashbangs being delivered. And they're going to spray them down. Is this going to be enough? Stown fighting for his life in the corner here. So much damage inflicted. But it looks like they've done enough here. Device and Stair working in tandem. One player remaining. But what a player it is. MTDU can't pop the smoke. I think that's it. Astralis with nine lives, it seems. They take us a triple overtime. They just won't quit time and time again. Got plenty of money for that final round. See if any mistakes are made. Does anyone overstep the mark? Give them a look in to what should be an impossible retake here. First kill with Techno 4K. The swing from Yabby doesn't deliver. Not like this, boys. You can't give up another round. A smoke's available. They throw the incendiary towards Donut. It could be over. Oh, no. They're going to have to scramble through. Device knows it as well. Oh, God. It's a five on three. And they've the... Is it enough? No, it's not. They've actually... It's going to be close. He's got it, Henry. He's got it. He's got it. Dude, they just gave up a five on three. They've done it again. It was a four on two before, and now the five on three. They've done it again. Strikes against down. 9-10 might get a freebie as well, bro. He peeks into it. Gets dropped. Oh, dear. Uh-oh, Henry. This is feeling like the death sentence. Stair will give them some footing into the round, but 9-10 continues to dominate the arena. Looking so good today. No real misses. Techno 4K as well. He's had massive impact the last couple of rounds. This one's no different. They've locked in a 3-0 in triple overtime. Expecting the face. Meanwhile, the push on the B site is coming in tandem. Device is here. A battle of the Orpus. The smoke dropped. Blitz with a headshot out on the site. Yabby pushing through. No! Raze clean to deny the bomb. Is it enough to keep them in the game? Keep them in the tournament? Bro, he makes the push through the smoke work. That should do it. The first of three is found. They cannot win on the CT side, but they can certainly keep it going. Looking for quad overtime. This round should be a done deal, but they've lost that five on three, the four on two. Would they lose a 1v3? Don't give him a 1v1. Don't give him anything to work with. 25 seconds. It should be a done deal. I can't even see a world where he pulls this one off. Spray on the first. See, they're just trying to survive here. Everyone is trying to keep their head on their shoulders. And there we have it. A hollow victory of sorts. You just got to focus on the round as it comes at this point. Sending them packing, forcing them in towards this A side. Stare. Can he find at least one? It's a bit of a sloppy spread to open things up. They'll close the gap. He gets the dink off and now down to the vice. Need to find at least one. The shot doesn't connect. And it's going to be a four versus four. The bomb surely has a chance to go down, but Techno knows he's here. He's not even considering this backstab. Huge kill. Is this the moment, Jackie? Is this where Mongols make their way in towards the grand final? It seems to be the case. The linchpin round. The spray down from Mazzinio. Back to back grand finals. The future of Asian Counter Strike is here, and its name is the Mongols. What a third and final map.